So he was talking to multiple people while he was talking to me, like doing it with other people while he was talking to me at the same time. Yeah, you don't have no money. You weren't gonna pay my bills. I was supposed to do it. I did what I did. It's over. It's happened. Okay. Oh well. I scam people. You see me, I see you. Like, what's the problem? The problem is scamming people. That's the problem. Okay. Well, I did it. I'm here. So now what? Hey. 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 What's up? So yeah. So look, we just read your email. Mm -hmm. We would just love to hear the whole story in your words. Anna hit me up about two months ago. I have no idea how she found me. And she's like, oh, I'm just looking to make friends. I was suspicious. So I questioned her a little bit because I'm not cool with people stealing people's profiles. I've had my friend's mom's identity stolen when she passed away from cancer. And she was used on Facebook in various situations. So like, I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't doing that. She said she wasn't, and she just kind of made a joke out of it, and I thought it was actually pretty funny. So we just started talking. So tell us about Anna, what's her deal? She's a 22-year-old Filipino. She lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. She's super hot. Well, <laughs> she's, hella, she's hella cute, but that's not my full-on interest. She makes me laugh. She's intelligent. There is something about her. She's witty, funny. I think she's a hard worker. And also uh, we have like a, a love of dancing together. I found that she was, you know, creative, just normal. And I think normal is pretty freaking awesome. She lives in Vegas now, but she grew up in the Philippines? Yes. What does she do? She says she's a data analyst, something to deal with like managing data. Would you say that you talk pretty much every day? Every day, every other day, for sure. But you guys have never talked on the phone? No, a month in, I had asked for a phone number, right? And ended up calling it, and ended up being, went to some dude's voicemail. And so I was like, hey, why did you give me the wrong phone number? She's like, oh, I had my boss's phone number copy and pasted. I, I didn't mean to do that, and then gave me a second phone number. So I tried texting it, and then no reply. So weird. Yeah, it was super weird. That's why I was like, hmm. What's going on here? Shady. So we know she has a Facebook page, but what about, I mean, you're hard to find a cute 22 year old who lives in Las Vegas that doesn't also have an Instagram and a Snapchat and a TikTok and a right. Twitter. Like what about all that stuff? Well, I don't, I don't do TikTok. I don't do Snapchat. I hardly do Instagram. Hmm. All right, so I want to see some of these conversations that you guys have been having. So could you plug in and share your screen so we can scroll through? Is it working? Boom. Boom. Okay, Ooh. whoa. Wait a second. Wait. She goes by Anna, but. Yeah, but it's like a, you know, just username. All right, so this is where it starts. Yeah, July 23rd. Uh, I've had my friend's identity stolen. Wow, so you really weren't kidding. You got right into it after he died of cancer, so I always check, especially when it's a cute girl. Ooh, you started flirting right away. No, 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 no. No, that wasn't me flirting right away. That was me saying like, no, especially when it's a cute girl. Okay, Jay. I'm getting gamed up on here, right? You can, we, have, we have two people that are professionals and making people blush. Anyways. Well, anyway, I mean, you were already kind of cautious and on the lookout mm -hmm. and aware of the reality that there are people out there making fake profiles. Yes. But there hasn't been any attempt to meet up, right? No, no, no. Definitely COVID's been a thing and also life. Mm. So, all right, let's see what we can figure out. Send us what you have, and obviously any photos. I'll send everything, everything I find. Great. Perfect. Thank you. Peace out. Great. All right, hold on, let's send the Zoom. I'm just freaked out because we don't know who this person is. Like, Me we too. literally don't know who this is. No idea. Oh, she's seen it, she's seen it, she's Ooh. seen it. All right, get ready, she's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh. What the? Oh. Hi, Jay. Are you the person we've been talking to and the person Jay has been talking to? You can call me Mars. The actor from the vampire movie? Yes. I'd say you caught me red-handed. Hmm. Really? Fine. Okay. Once and for all. Never really intended for things to go this far. I didn't know how to cut my ties loose without, you know, ever actually having to hurt you or just leave you hanging. 
I felt bad. Mm. I didn't know what I was doing. I just want to ask you, did you do this to try to pursue a relationship? Nope. Do you have romantic feelings at all for Jay? No, ma'am. I am completely straight, but I will say that the feelings I have for him were starting to th think about a beautiful spring friendship. I'm not proud of what I've done and how long I've been doing it, but I'm just glad, you know, I'm finally getting to come clean. I mean, I literally let off the conversation by telling you that one of my best friend's mothers died of cancer and had her Facebook stolen. Right. So how do you, how do you even justify going forward? I can't really say that I can make any sort of excuse for my actions. But what I can tell you is I did it with the best of intentions. How is that, how is that good intentions at all? Let's let him explain. Okay, go for it. It just gave us a little bit of the history of, of yes. Anna. Of course, you know, if anything, I think that's the least that I'd owe you all guys. So I, I started this account way back when I was still in college. And this was primarily used as for a stalking account. You know, to stalk girls, both girls and guys. And uh, when I started it as a guy, I was pretending to be someone named Massimo. And uh, I'm guessing that you guys could figure out the person who I was talking to based on the profile in the account. Wait, you mean Laika? Yes. You were observing the girl Laika who lives in the Philippines, right? Yes. And are, are you from the Philippines? Yes, I am as well. And do you still live in the Philippines? No, I'm talking to you okay. way back here in the city of Las Vegas, United States of America. And so do you know her personally or did you know her? She was a co-dancer of a dancer that I was, you know, trying to date. Okay, so you had a crush on this girl, Laika, and so you made a page to friend her and perhaps kind of get to know her a little better. Yeah. So then my big question is, how and why did you find Jay? So it started, uh, you know, way back when I was personally, you know, a victim of being catfished. And uh, it was very traumatizing. And I was personally crucified, you know, by being blackmailed and extorted, you know, by a female who, you know, catfished me off guard. She took some snaps. I was unfortunately in bed, pretty much half naked. So, so what did she want for the photos? Because you said that she extorted you. Yeah, she was blackmailing me for a hundred bucks. I know as okay. cheap as it may sound, I don't give in to those kind of demands, not even for a dollar. Since then, I mean, you know, it's kind of like been a really sen sensitive subject to me. Uh, you know, when I first, yeah. <laughs> that's that's bull. I'm sorry. If you if you took any of that to heart, you would not be doing any damn thing you are doing right now, bro. Like, oh. Sorry, I just still can't get an answer from you on how did you find Jay and why did you talk to him. When I was going about catfishing, I said, you know, I want to let people, you know, take a taste of their own medicine. So when I started catfishing, I was catfishing as a guy. And then all of a sudden, you know, one time, I, I see this guy on the side of the friend suggestion list. The friend suggestion was Jay. Yes. Okay. And I was maybe thinking if I could pull off one last stunt, maybe do this time as a girl. So you just made the Anna profile two months ago to catfish Jay? Yes. And was that in any way connected to a feeling or an emotion that's like, hmm, I think I'd like to talk to Jay as a girl? No. But I would say throughout you know, the conversation, there were always thoughts going about in my head like, you know, this is actually a really nice guy. And to that point, I thought, wow, this guy doesn't deserve anything that I was doing to him at all. Because to tell you the truth, there was you know, this big agenda that I was trying to do with this, you know, from the very start. And all I wanted from him was to do the real that I was asking. I just want to think that as long as I've already, you know, gotten what I want, I'll stop right then and there. So pay somebody online to make a reel. There's plenty of video editing people out there in the world. Yo, dude, that's 25 bucks. Maybe you're just looking for a little extra attention right now. That's honestly, you know, how we end up having the conversation for so long, even though, you know, some points in, in my head were telling me to stop. And I was just, you know, glad, you know, every time that he'd say that he'd miss talking to me. 
Fair enough. Uh, but you could just say one good thing about me. <laughs> or just Laika. I honestly, I w wasn't talking to Laika. I was talking to you. And as much as I really f understand how you can compartmentalize, I gave you an out right away. And I feel like you never took that out all the way up until here. And so for me, I have no problem saying absolutely nothing positive towards the situation. Other than I hope that you learn that you've not just affected me, but you'll affect Laika. And I hope that you would take down that profile yeah. and delete everything. I get you. I forgive you, but do I need to give you any sort of leeway past that? No, you're just going to be out of my life. And that is what it is. Gone. Hey! Hey, Ryan. Welcome to your intervention. You need help. Oh, man. How you doing, man? What's going on? You look a little stressed out. Yeah, thrown for quite the loop. So Ryan, obviously your friend Whitney emailed us on your behalf because you know, she's a little concerned. You've got this girl you're talking to mm -hmm. and she feels like something just ain't right. Right. I'm just concerned about you. I don't want you to get hurt. And I appreciate it. So she gave us her side of the story, but we're really curious mm -hmm. to kind of hear from you. What's up with this girl, Micah? Walk us through the whole relationship and where things are with her. Okay, I'll uh, tell you the whole story. So I was on Tinder, scrolling through, just hitting likes, whatever. Saw her on there, liked her, and then eventually she liked me back, and then small conversation started, nothing too serious, you know. Added her on Snapchat, because it was in the bio. And uh, we started talking, everything was going pretty great. But got the number that way. After that, I guess you could say I put on the charm, you know. Oh. Had a couple phone calls, talked at least maybe two to three times. She seems genuine from what I could tell. How were those phone calls? Were they like long and lovely? Not necessarily long. I would try to keep it going, but at the one time she was actually doing something, so I was like, all right, I ain't really that concerned about it. You guys also follow each other on Snapchat, right? So does she post stories a lot? Yeah, she posts stories a lot. But has she ever sent you a snap of her? Like, hey, Ryan, what's up, boo? Like, I've gotten pictures, but not necessarily specific snaps. So like, nothing with your name in it, right? No. But she sent you pictures? Yeah. What kind? <laughs> oh, um, you know, every kind. With the face? The face was there, yeah. Face and parts. The whole shebang. Together. In one complete package. Interesting. So tell us about her. How old is she? She's 21. She works at a restaurant. Does she have an Instagram? She must have an Instagram, right? I asked her about that. I did ask her, and she said she doesn't have Instagram or Facebook. A 21-year-old girl does not have Instagram. Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. But you think she's real? For the most part, yeah. Real enough to, like, send... Yeah, I heard you might have sent some gifts or something. Well, I wouldn't say gifts, it's just more like a little bit of money. So wait, explain what happened there? She asked me like, hey, can you do me a favor? I'm like, what's the favor? Oh, could you, you know, send like 25 or whatever? And I'm like, oh, sure, fine. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right to me. She's playing you like you a ham. So you have a history, right? You can like see your transactions? Yeah. Can you pull them up? I'm just curious. Oh, screen share? Sure. Okay, cool. All right, what do we got? All right, so. Oh! Pretty Money, is that what her name is on there? Yeah. So hold on a second, is this the first one for lunch? Yeah. $26.50, and then for your hair, another $26.50, plus, wow, $167. Oh my god. Plus another $150, plus $50. By my count, you've sent just under $500. I mean, that's not nothing. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, she's um, very money-oriented, in my opinion. I know I've never asked a man for money and haven't even met up with him before. I've dealt with other women that were more money oriented. It's not like it's every day. It's like it would happen. It's just like, oh. It doesn't seem genuine to me. If it's all right, can we see some of the conversation between you guys just to get a sense of, oh. yeah, sure. you know, what, what that vibe is like? What's that? Is that, a, oh, is that a picture she sent? Oh, pictures that she did send, yeah. Okay, so that's what she looks like. She's cute. cute. 100 boo, please. No, sorry. 50 bay, dang. No, sorry, sweetheart. You know, she, she had to tell her no. Boo, can you send me 300? Because I was going to try to get these socks and shoes. And I'm going to make you some videos tonight and we can talk. I know I asked for a lot, but I'm worth it. And I'm going to make it up to you, still paying you back. 
Oh, she said she's gonna pay you back. No, she's trying to pay him back with some services. Uh, it might, it, it might be with uh, funds. You never know. Funds. I mean, like the funds <laughs> are between her legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Hi. Who the hell are you? Tony. Tony? Yeah. Huh. So, are you the person who's been Micah this whole time? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Are you being for real? Yeah. Do you live in Detroit? No. Wait, if you don't live in Detroit, how did you have Micah's profile and Tinder in Detroit? I was in Detroit. Oh, you were in Detroit, okay. But you don't live in Detroit. Do you live in Michigan? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're in the area. Okay, got it. Do you know a Cassandra Reed? Because that's the name that comes up when we ran your phone number. No. Are you a f subscriber to the real Micah's OnlyFans? <sighs> I was. I kind of used her to make it seem a little more real, you know. It's actually, you know, a lesson. A lesson. Lesson. A lesson for who? My good man right here. It's a lesson for all the guys who own her. Man, you can't be sending money to these girls, to anybody on Snapchat, anybody you ain't never met in person or anything like that. If I, if I wouldn't have got you, somebody would have got you. You know, it's gonna get, it's gonna uh, happen. Interesting lesson you thought you would uh, teach. It's quite surprising. That's... Was it really surprising though, bro? A uh, little bit, because I, I, I believe the story that was given to me, you know? Oh, you must be new on her. So have you used the Micah profile and, and, and Snapchat ain't... to like talk to lots of other guys? That ain't the only girl I use, no. Oh, okay, so use you have- girls. But have you talked to any other guys the way you've talked to Ryan? What you mean? Well, I mean, you, we, Ryan sent you 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. So are there other people sending you money too? Yeah. Wow. So wait, why when I called, was it a girl voice at one time? Oh, I had a girl answer. It was a couple of girls that I had talked to, you know. And do you cut them in on the on the cash? Of course. So you got and like you, a whole little this operation. This is like a business. I mean, I wouldn't call it a business. A lot of people do it, man. And how long have you been doing this? I don't know. So a long time. I didn't say that. So how long? I just said I don't know. Are you into guys? Never. But you're having sexual conversations with men in order to lure them to send you money? I'm a dude, I know what I know what a dude wants, you know? But what kind of lesson are you teaching him if you're also accepting the money? Don't you think that you're just as at fault as he is? I bet you it won't happen to him again. Don't send him some money. I should be the good guy because I'm coming out. Ain't nobody else gonna come out and tell y'all this. If you really wanted to teach Ryan a lesson, you know, you could have had him send you 50 bucks and then you could have said, hey, just so you know, I'm a, like, got you, but you kept it going and you probably would have kept it going longer if, you know, we weren't stopping it now. So like- But y'all ain't, ain't asked me like my whole plan, what I'm trying, what I'm gonna do and stuff. I'm gonna pay the dude back. You can shoot me your cash app. I'm gonna see you that right back, you know? Can we do that now? So, I mean- so, Yeah, can you do it it's now? It's a lesson. No, we can't do it right now. You know, I'm a good dude. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a harmless scam. But you stole $500 from him. Ooh. It's not harmless. You're putting the girl in the actual photos and videos at risk. That's where I have listen, an issue. Listen, because listen. Say, say Ryan was crazy and ran into her somewhere and was like, hey, like you took this money for me, you never showed up. Now I'm gonna f you up. Now you put Micah, the real Micah, at risk. Girls put their stuff at risk when they post pictures of they stuff in the news. Period. Do you have kids? Don't worry about that. Well, I hope that you don't have daughters because if you do and somebody were to take advantage of them like that, I'm sure you would have an issue with that. My daughter won't be posting no pictures like that. There's so many guys taking these girls' pictures, making fake pages, doing all type of stuff. So you have to contribute? If I want to. That's so f***ed up. <laughs> That's so f***ed up. Where I'm at with these females, like now, like my baby mama that did so much to me, you know, a lot of girls that did a lot of a lot of to me, man, these hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is the most disgusting thing I have ever heard in my life. This lady right here, man, you a mother. I am. 
You're damn straight. That is I hope a you fact. don't got no pics up like that. Absolutely not. But even if I did, that would be my choice and my prerogative as a woman. Who are you to tell women that they should expect to have their photos taken and shared to lure men for money? You're pissing me off. I do not mind at all. I think she's upset in yeah, a way she that a I... Female. Tell us about Mar and kind of how you got to where you are with him. I know that he lives in Las Vegas. He's a security guard on the strip. He's 21 years old. 21? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I like younger guys. I think that's my downfall, like light skin and young. I'm just like, no, oh my God. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh, man. But Jacked is like a location-based app, right? How did you guys match in the first place? I was in Las Vegas on vacation. My last day there, I was bored, so I'm like, let's see who was around. Bam, his profile showed that he was two miles away from me. So I hit him up. I'm like, well, you know, I'm here in Vegas. Would you want to, you know, hang out? He was like, oh, I can't hang out tonight because I have to go to work. Which that's understandable, you know, you hit someone up at last minute. That makes sense, but then you went back to California and you guys started talking. What happened? The conversation is there. Just to wake up in the morning and have someone text you good morning makes you feel good. He makes me feel like, like I'm wanted. He texts me, I'm going to work. If his day is slow, we'll have a little conversation. But sometimes I am a kind, afraid to text back when he's at work because he always wants me to get him an Uber. What? <laughs> you mean like to go to or home from work? Yeah. What? Wait, you actually call the Uber in your app? No, so I, I send him money. Hmm. Jackson. Me personally, I don't think he's doing anything malicious with it because he always says he's gonna pay me back. Has he? No, he hasn't paid me back. I sent him over like $500. How are you sending him the money? So I'm sending him the money um, through his friend's cash app. His friend's cash app? Jason! Well, he told me that his cash app got blocked. Who's his friend? Her name is Amber. Um, I tried to look her up but I, I couldn't find anything on her. And hold on, and you haven't talked on the phone to Mar in all these months? No, haven't, no, not at all. Just text messages. Have you tried to get on a phone call with him? I tried calling his phone, you know, it rang and rang and rang and, and then went to voicemail. So I'm thinking maybe he's at work or maybe he's busy. And what about social media? Does Mar have an Instagram or a Snapchat? Or... I tried to add him on, on those social media sites, but I, I, I couldn't find him personally. Did you ever have plans to meet up? We had planned something for him to come out here. I bought him a Greyhound ticket. I sat out there for almost two hours waiting on his bus, and he never came. So I called the phone, and a female picked up. And I'm like, who is this? And she was like, who is this? And then the phone hung up. <laughs> Jason! Jason! Oh my God. Yeah. Do you see these red flags? Yeah, I'm not colorblind, I know. There's no way. Jason, you're a smart guy. What is it about this guy, Mar, that's so meaningful to you? It's just like, you know, I have so much trust in him. But where does that trust come from? How did he earn so much trust from you? Okay, so. I've always held this secret for 11 years. Um, I am HIV positive. So wow. when I told him I'm HIV positive, you know, you can either accept it or not. He texts back like, oh yeah, that's fine. And he said that he would take PrEP, which that really meant something to me because with someone living with HIV for 11 years, there's still a stereotype there. So when you have someone who is willing to take PrEP, that really just did something to me. Mar was the first person I've been told that I was HIV positive in three years. Wow. So I just accepted everything that was going on in hopes of we're gonna build a future together. I just hope that something good comes out of this. I'm, I'm praying it will. <sighs> well, do you have pictures of Mar? I only have two photos. <laughs> Can we see the photos? Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. This is a picture he sent you? No, actually, I took that picture off of his profile. So this was on Jacked? Yes. 
So he never texted you actual photos? There was, let me see. Uh, okay. So he has sent you this one photo? Yeah. The fact that he can't even send you other pictures of him is weird. Yeah. I'm just trying to think, is there any chance that it could be your ex-husband messing with you? I, I don't know, I don't think it's him. What if we find out Mar isn't the guy in the pictures? It's gonna just destroy me. Can't have my heart broken again. I just need to know. I'm so nervous. It's like I'm gonna throw up. What was he? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh my God, that's crazy. Get the f <laughs> out of here. <laughs> oh. I mean, do I have to like clean my computer screen? Am I seeing this right? I can't. Well, hello, uh, I'm not sure what to say. We're all a little dumbfounded here. Are you serious? Mar, is that your name? No, my name is actually Omar. Oh, oh Omar. that makes sense, okay. I see yeah. that now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm 21, I live in Vegas. Uh, has it been you the whole time? G yeah, it's been me this whole time. Who was the woman that answered the phone? It was my roommate. Is there a reason that you had her answer or just? When it's numbers, I don't know. I just have other people answer. I mean, that's a little shady. Are you hiding from someone? Why have you been so mysterious this whole time? I just didn't want him to know who I am, like, like my name and everything. That's the reason why I was having him cash at my friend instead of me. But what would be so bad about him knowing your name? I don't get it. I didn't want him to, like, think that I was really, like, wanting to really, really be with him, and I didn't want to be with him. What? But why would you text me and tell me that you love me and you want to get married? Like, I mean, why would you do that? Because you kept sending me money, so why not? and you didn't ever expect me to FaceTime you or none of that. So, you know, that was easy money. He's pretty much, you know, my sugar daddy. Sugar daddy? I wish I could come to the screen right now. Sugar daddy, that's funny. I can't own up to it. I used him for his money. And you know, it's that pandemic. You know, he was a good target. And I feel like he's stupid. Like, come on now, what, what other way I could say it? Like, he's really stupid. And that's no tea, no shade. Like, there's no tea. But you, led, but you led me on. You led me on. I mean. Do you have a job? I work on the strip. So what did you do with all this money that I sent you? Um, You know, bought me expensive stuff, shoes. Honestly, I told you I needed an Uber, but I didn't need an Uber. I got a whole car. I live paycheck for paycheck. Half of the money I was giving you was from bills, because I thought that you we're in trouble, you needed help. I mean, you led me on the texts in the morning and, and, and you know, me telling you, you know, my deep, darkest secrets and I thought we had something. This is just ridiculous. You said in your text message to me that I f***ed up, but so did he. What, what exactly did you mean, so did he? I, honestly, you're the catfish. What do you mean? This is not who he is in the, in the pictures on Jack. That's not him. That was the younger version of him. You're saying that Jason used pictures of him when he was younger? Yes. On yes. his profile? Yes. That picture wasn't even that old. I took that picture like two years well, ago. Well, that don't look, that don't, that don't look like you, boo. Show us the picture. This is the and picture. And he kept, person. and by that, by that, by that time, he was already, you know. This excuse, Omar. It doesn't look that different. For you to try and say that because you feel like the picture he used was a misrepresentation of him, which somehow gives you permission to take advantage of him, that's just bull Look how he looked. Like, do you... I felt like I could trust you, Mar. I don't open up. Not at all, but I felt like I could open up to you. You don't have no morals or no standards. You're a scam artist. You can't put it all on me because at the end of the day, you kept sending money even after you felt like something was strange. But that's such bull He acted out of generosity and love and hopefulness. And you acted out of greed and selfishness. And so 
there is shame on you, but not on Jason. Do I feel sorry? Um, I bet no. you don't. I don't. <laughs> figures. You can get your money back. I, I'll send you your money back. Can you do it now? Yeah. OK, let's see it. I'm going to send it to him after this show. Yeah. Is this all like, did you come on here to put on this act or because I just, no, I, this I don't is really, feel. No, this is you're really genuinely, me in real life. You're genuinely a human being. Is that just who you are? Calm it down with me, OK? What? Any <laughs> other questions? Thank you. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You can't dismiss me. You don't have the qualifications. You do not have the jurisdiction. Can you kind of take us back, explain how you met, and, and kind of how the relationship progressed? We want to know everything. OK, so while I was at work, I was on break, and I was accepting everybody from Quest. I need more friends, I need more likes. So I just accepted this person. When he replies to my story, he's like, you're beautiful. I was like, oh, yeah. And when you saw his page, did it have a lot of stuff on there and friends and pictures? Uh, no, it don't got that many friends, but like 100 and some friends. All right, but there were photos of him. Yeah, the same ones he sent me. So then you guys started ch chatting? Yeah, we started chatting. That's when I'm like, what's your number? That next night, we called each other. On the phone, having a good conversation, like, you know, the basics. I said, where you from? He said, Michigan. When you were talking on the phone, it clearly sounded like a guy's voice. It was a boy voice, but we sometimes fall asleep on the phone, but he snores so loud. Wait, how quickly did you guys start talking all, every night like that? Since the first night. Wow, so you guys talk still every night? Sometimes we fall asleep on the phone. OK, yeah. and when you're talking to him, tell, tell us about the conversations and what he's like. He is calm. He is funny. He likes to tell jokes. He makes me feel good. Like, he likes to compliment me every day. He makes me more confident. And he helped me emotionally, too. It's something new for me because I've been through a lot. Like, the words he tell me, I never heard from the other boys. Plus, he's older. I always dealt with younger. How old is he, exactly? 26. 26. Okay. What does he do? He's an entrepreneur. He said that he wants to start a business of selling bouncer houses for kids. So what does he do currently? Currently, unemployment. That's all I know, unemployment. He's trying to get it together. Yeah. Kamara told us that she thinks you and Andrew have talked about him, like, saying, come move to Michigan. Is that true? Oh, my god. She said everything. When he was telling me about the entrepreneur stuff he want to do, I'm like, oh, I can help you. He want me to quit my job, to go up there. Wait, do we even know where he lives in Michigan? He's in Detroit, Michigan. OK, so he lives in Detroit. But he lives in Detroit. He's now on unemployment, and he wants for you to quit your job to join him on unemployment to figure out what he's going to do? No. It's like half and half. One side of me want to go so bad. Like, That's not even sustainable. Show us a picture of this guy, because I want to know. Should I, I get... turn my phone yeah. to the screen, or should I just send it? You can, you can just hold your phone up to the screen. Here is one. OK. Light oh, eyes. Yeah. Danger. Uh -huh. He got hazel eyes. The second one. That's all I got. I think it's fair to say that a guy who looks that good would probably have more pictures he could send you, right? When I ask for more, it's like issues. Like that's when the arguments start. Interesting. Okay. Wait, so he won't send you pictures, but he asked you to send him money? Yes. How did that come up? It just came out of nowhere. He just said, hey, can you send some money for some food? I'm like, OK, here you go, $25. Oh, I got to give me a haircut, $35. And one time, I just sent him $275 randomly. Why? Because I'm in love. So you're a sugar daddy. And has it all been through one app? Apple Pay. It just goes to his phone number. Mm hmm Has he done anything nice for you? Has he paid you back? Well, when I sent him $25, he sent me $10 back just because he said he didn't need the whole I mean, thing. That's a good move, because it says you can trust me. Have you done any research? Have you tried to run his phone well, number? Well, you know, I tried to put his phone number in a cash app thing, you know, you can see. Ooh, smart. Yes. But all that I saw was, like, somebody named Keon. That's it. So wait, you ran his phone number in cash app, and it came back to someone named Keon? Yeah, that's all. That's strange, right? Shouldn't it come back to someone named Andrew? That's weird, but I just said, you know what? You didn't even bring it up? No, I didn't even t tell him. I'm just now telling y'all, like, Bonnie.
This is the That's red flag. That's a red flag. No, but it's right here. Bonnie said. Can you see this? Wait, maybe he's colorblind. I Wait, can't what even color see. is this? Can you see this? I see the red flag. Okay. I, but I didn't even mention it. Because people use other people's cash apps all the time. So that's why I never. I'm just shaking. Oh. Who is this? I'm Keandre. Keandre? So you're Andrew? Yes. Well, hello. Vani, do you know who this person is? No. Keandre, do you know Vani? No. Okay. We have a lot of questions, but I don't want to get in the way of you guys, or, or in, in this case, you, Keandre. I don't know if you want to say something to kind of get things going here, but obviously you have some explaining to do. Uh, yeah. Well, it started off as um, a, a scheme. Um, scheme? Yeah, like I've been catfishing for um, about two, about a year and a half, two years. Um, I have a female profile, which is Venus. You Venus too? Yeah, I am Venus. I've been doing this for a year and a half. So yes, I've been, I scam people. Um, COVID was going on when I started to make the page and it went off from there. And I just started scamming people. I didn't have no money. Um, I had no income, no nothing. So I had to make a quick way to get money. and. That's how I that's how I decided to do it. So you let me on for six months. Talk about the you talk about living together. Was that real or when I started it was to get money out of him, but it ended up turning into something different and it just went too far. Everything was real. I just wasn't the person in the pictures, obviously. Well, it wasn't real because even though you're saying you like Bonnie now, you initially met him and presumably lots of other people to scam them. Yes, and paying my bills. So yeah, I did. So you was talking to multiple people while you was talking to me? Like doing it with other people while you was talking to me at the same time? Yeah, you don't have no money. You weren't gonna pay my bills. I don't want to do it. I did what I did, it's over, it's happened, okay, oh well. I scam people. You see me, I see you, like what's the problem? The problem is scamming people, that's the problem. Okay, well, I did it, I'm here, so now what? Okay, why don't we do this? Where do you live? I live in a town in Pontiac, Michigan. Are you 26? Yes, I'm 26. Okay, and you don't have a job that you have to clock into every day at this No, time. I don't have a nine to five, no, I do not. Okay, so this is your main source of income? Yes, it is. How many people do you think you've talked to in total using the profiles over the last year and a half? It's been hundreds. Okay, so a lot, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And and about how many of those relationships or those conversations end up making it to the level where they're sending you money? Um, mostly all of them. That's wow. how I make the money. That's how I make the money I make. So you're pretty good at this. Yes. Wow. But you are aware that like you're getting called out. Like somebody was literally on the Venus page today posting screenshots saying that you're a scammer. That's fine. I'll make another page. <laughs> That's fine. It don't stop. That's they don't understand. It don't stop. Have you made new pages already? Yeah, that's them are new. Them are new pages. And what do you do when people want to talk to Venus? Hey, how are you? What's up? I can't. You're a gay, for real. I can't. Mm -mm. It's, it's the game, y'all. Y'all gotta know the game. It's the game. That's all it is. Well, was it a game or do you like him? Because you said that your relationship with Bonnie did mean something to you. Yes, I started catching friends with him. Yes, I did. The way he takes me, the way he cared, the way he just carried himself. Like when we were on the phone, he like he said some things that really made me think like, oh my God, I should. this is the wrong person to be doing this to. After that point, did you continue asking him for money? He sent me like two payments and then after that, it was nothing. So how you feeling right now, like? I mean, I feel the same way. There's nothing that's gonna change. Like, I still want to be with you. I want to get to know you and I want to take this off of what I did and I apologize. If you want to work somehow, you could have stopped doing that scam whatever the you be doing. Yeah, I, I do what I do, like, I don't see a problem with it. You don't see a problem with catfishing and, and scamming Scamming? People? No. You're old enough to know what to do and what not to do, and what not to do to get scammed, like what? 
Right. But then you could also make the argument that you're old enough to know that scamming people is wrong. To you is wrong, to me it's not wrong. No, to everybody is wrong. No, well, that's your opinion. To me it's not wrong. I mean, he like it to look at him. Right. That's what's uh, that's what is gagging me, right. literally. Right. All oh, this is a gag. All the gag. No, because y'all y'all just sit here thinking like like I'm just this bad person. No, and you're not just even planning on this stuff. You wanna keep going. I mean, look, Bonnie should have known better, but he didn't. And he's generous and he's sweet and he's kind. And you took advantage of that. You definitely hurt him and wasted his time and you know took money from him under false pretenses. And those are all pretty <laughs> up things to do to someone. Exactly. Right, you can acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. For you to sit here and say like, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's cool. They shouldn't, if they get scammed, then it's their fault. Like, that's not real talk. That's you trying to justify your behavior and not feel bad about it. I'm not justifying anything. It's just what I do. I do what I do, and I do what I do, and I don't want to be judged for it. Okay. <laughs>